Welcome to my tutorial on formatting links in Dreamweaver using CSS. Now um, what we're going to be doing is working with this website here for the GoNZ tourism site and we have some links here in our nav bar. We also have some links in the main part of the page, in the body, and also some links down in the footer. Now what we're going to do is apply some styles to format those links and I'll show you exactly how to go about doing this. So um, to do it initially, if we come over to the CSS uh, tab, click on plus to add a new rule, and um, in the advanced we have these things called selectors. Now if we drop down there are four preset ones. Now a column link will format all links on our page, in fact anywhere on the site. So if I click OK, and just go ahead and format it. Um, Arial size 12 in white. When I apply this, you notice it does format the links there quite nicely in the nav bar, but the links in the main part of the page, which has a white background, are now invisible. So this is quite a common problem when you're going to format your links on your website. So uh, what we're going to look at specifically here is how to format our links differently in certain areas of the site. So I'm just going to uh, cancel that, come back and remove the A link. This time I'm just going to click up in the nav bar, add another style, and this time you notice that it gives me the location of the cursor. So it was in the container, which is the div tag, div area going right around the outside of my design and top nav which is my nav bar and then I'm going to add a column link. Now what that means is that this will format all links only in this area. So now when I click OK um, I'm going to format this Arial size 12 white so it stands out against that blue background and I'm going to remove the underline. So now when I click OK it will format the links there but you notice it does not affect the links in the body of the website. To format those now I would come over and click plus to add a new style and again you notice because my cursor was in there it's giving me the location, container and then content. If I add a column link to that, click OK and I'll format these ones similarly, Arial size 12 but this time I think I'll keep them blue so I'll go for that nice bright link blue um, and no underline. So I click OK and that now formats the links there in the main part of the web page. In fact that blue isn't ideal so we'll just double click and I'll just change it so it stands out a bit more. Um, nice light blue. There we go. So I have to repeat that last step again for the footer so um, Cancel that so I click down in my footer first, click to add another style, and there we are, a contain container, footer, and now a link. So this time I can format that however I want it to look. And I'll just go through those same settings as I had for the nav bar. Okay. And so now I have my three different areas all formatted um, individually. Now if I want to have um, things like rollovers, I would need to do those individually also. So for example if I click on the top nav and I'll add another style um, under top nav I can also go a colon um, hover which will give me the rollover effect. So I click on OK and um, I will just format that nearly identically to the original state but this time I will put an underline on it. So when we roll over them an underline will appear. And also we want a visited state so again I'll go add a new style, I've now got um, a colon visited and in this case I'm just going to have them go back to being white with no underline. So the only real change is when you roll over them the underline will appear and click OK. So um, that's formatted all the links in the top nav bar there and I'll just repeat that for the content and also the footer and that way then I would have all my links formatted individually. Um, and that's how to format links using CSS in Dreamweaver. Thank you.